John Calipari said this past this past week, he asked the Cats to raise their hands if they thought John Wall was getting too much attention for their winning ways. Nobody raised their hand, probably because Wall can flat out perform on the big stage. Last night against Connecticut with the game on the line, the Cats went to Wall time after time, and he delivered, scoring 12 of Kentucky's final 15 points, leading the Cats to a 64-61 win over the Huskies. Uh, at the end of the game, you know, coach, coaches want players that can make plays. You know, me and Eric been making a lot of plays lately. So, you know, Eric got in foul trouble. He couldn't be in the game. So, at the end, I was like, coach, just give me the ball and I can make plays for us. And I was making shots. You know, a lot of casual plays, though, where he kind of walks to a ball where we're not. There was so, Look, there are times I'm looking out there saying, you've had to have done this before. We're a young team. We inconsistent, you know. Like couple, at the beginning of the first half, he was telling me to run plays, and I was trying to score, and I was getting fouls called, and it was frustrating sitting on the bench. So we just listened to what Coach told us in the second half when we came out and got a tough win against a good UConn team. UK quarterback Morgan Newton has been named to the SEC's all-freshman team. Newton started the last seven games after Mike Hartline suffered a knee injury against South Carolina. The Cats finished up 5-2 and two with Newton at the helm. He threw for 608 yards and five touchdowns and completed just over 55% of his passes. Newton also ran for 93 yards and two more scores. And you know what? The highly touted freshman expected success his first year at Kentucky. I didn't really know, you know how that was going to come or in what form, but I you know, expected to be successful and expected to um, grow as a player from high school to college. And I, and I think with this season, I've developed a lot, um, not only as a football player, but you know, also as a, as a student, just trying to be as, as best of a Kentucky Wildcat as I can all around. So I had a great time this year and I'm um, excited about you know, being able to practice and continue to play with these guys. Also named the SEC's all-freshman team, offensive lineman Larry Warford out of Madison Central. Warford saw plenty of action in his first year as a Wildcat, playing in nine games. Well, after four years on the job, Oliver Lucas is leaving Bryan Station. Lucas led a remarkable program turnaround. His first year, the defenders were 2-8. and eight. This past season, Bryan Station finished up as district champs at 9-3 and, and won a first-round playoff game. Well, let's get back to the hardwood and the high school scene. First up, we have LCA at Lexington Catholic. Eagles down 20 with four minutes to go in the game, and then the threes came. Taylor Barnett from the corner pocket. Good. He had 13. Then it's Will Evans. The big man has range. He also had 29. The Eagles cut the Knights' lead to six. However, Lexington Catholic holds on to win this one, 76-68. Elsewhere, it's Madison Central at Lafayette. Mike Walker. Getting open in the corner, and the three is true. Walker with 28 points and 10 boards. On the other end, it's Jared Pyatt, who's going to go right down the lane. He had 13, but it's tough to run with the Generals. Lafayette pulls away and wins this one, 95-75. to 75. Back to Lexington Catholic we go, where LCA was taking on the host squad. Early on, Anna Gail Scott hits the J. She had five. For LCA, UK signee Sarah Beth Barnett had it going. The triple, she had 23 points and seven boards. As Lexington Catholic, though, they get the big win, beating LCA 62-54. Syracuse versus Florida. Chandler Parsons misses the three, and the Orange is running on the other end. Syracuse wins it, meaning Kentucky is the only undefeated team left in the SEC. That's why this is our Jack Kane Ford play of the day.